Welcome everyone to the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I'm not numbering this because I'm only going to cover the level 30 Lancer Guild quest in this one. Um, so I'm not necessarily sure what order I'm going to put this in. But um, to date, uh, we have unlocked our Chocobo Companion, um, both as a mount we can ride upon, but also as a companion that can join us in in the field during fights. Um, we've also uh, progressed in the Self Beast Tribe quest to the point where we have their trust, but now uh, their elder has gone missing and we're currently looking for him. Um, but for this episode, we're going to focus on the level 30 Lancer Guild quest um, so that we can get the, the Lancer quests finished. Um, so on that point, let's get started. On the you know, on the other Let's Play episodes, we will continue with the main storyline, but um, let's just get this done with, and then we can focus on the main storyline. There's a little, some low-hanging uh, wires to take care of here. Proof of Might. Ah, Lightbringer, ever a sight for sore eyes. By your return, I take it you are ready for the final trial. Very well. Let us... Guildmaster Yuan. You are wounded. What has happened? We were attacked, sir, by a dusk right Lancer. As we trained in the forest, he was he was impossibly strong, a demon. He kept screaming something about teaching us true courage. No, not him, not Falkus. We were in the northwest corner of the central shroud when it happened. I was able to get away, but the others, you must help the others. Oh, be strong, man. I'm sorry, Lightbringer. The trial must wait. Pray, make haste to the central shroud and help your comrades. And, Lightbringer, should Fulcus force your hand, do what must be done. Twelve speed on your, speed you on your way. So, it appears our friend really hasn't learned his lesson. He's still bent on his notion of true courage. Um, if you remember two previous um, go out the actually should have gone the other way. Oh well. So if you ever go out, out the wrong gate let's go back in. So Falkus, um he basically has an idea where um, true courage is, is just blindly running into fights, um, you know, testing, you know, the stereotypical, you know, true test of strength, you know, the, like a scary, strong monster that you have no idea if you're going to be able to beat them or not. That's the, his idea. That's true training. Whereas the guild is taking measured steps, building up confidence by, Getting experience in measured steps. But this is, if we look at a mini map, we need to go southwest from here. So let us use our trusty steed. So we previously had a contest with him in the Briar Patch in the East Shroud, which he invariably lost. But apparently, he still he's still bent on achieving his goals here. But hang on, and we'll be.
So really quickly here, this is the wolf gate. I don't know if it's, I think it's a white wolf gate. Um, but anyway, this gate is normally closed. No entry or no exit. Uh, you can get access to this gate by completing a quest. Okay, here we go. All right. So most likely, um, our friend here may not may not necessarily be able to come with us. But right click on the instance and let's see what this instance fight has for us. Help for the level of the twelve. Help me. Looks like we just barely got to our friend in time. Oh, you my life friend. Another breath I would have become worm fodder. A duskrite lancer unleashed the fiends upon us, claiming it would temper our courage. You should have seen the look in his eyes when he said it. Mad bastard. Hmm? Where is he now? Uh, I think he headed off towards the North Shroud. Maybe in the direction of Falgor Float? I can't say for sure. I was concentrating on the scale skin at the time. If it's a reckoning you seek, you are likely to be disappointed. Those of us who manage to outrun the worms will already have alerted the whalers. I dare say the Dusk Ride is being held at Spear Point as we speak begging for his worthless life in a puddle of his own blank. Serves the bastard right and all. Okay, so it is our friend Folk Hughes. We need to head to the North Shrouds. Just cross this bridge. And follow the path to the left. Look like our friend there had been off a little more than you can chew, but there we go. It was running around at half health. Anyway, here's his instance, so let's see what it, our misbegotten friend has improved for us, or has in store for us. What kept you? Helping your comrades, you say? Fool, you waste your pity on false friends. It's only a matter of time before they betray you. I, just like those wretches who saw me in prison and exiled. I was once an upright citizen of Gradania, a man of the Lancers Guild, yet life was not easy. For want of the coin to obtain the barest necessities, I conspired with my closest comrades to steal from the guild's coffers. Ah, so that's his story. The, the theft soon came to light, and though there were no suspects, it was clear that the deed had been perpetrated by someone within the ranks. An air of suspicion hung heavy over the guild, from that day forth, until at last, unable to bear the guilt, 
I convinced my accomplices to join me in confessing. Only for them to bite their craven tongues after I had stepped forward and admitted my part in the crime. And so it was that I alone took the blame. Of course it was a dusk right, everyone said. Was there ever any doubt? It all made perfect sense. Despite my heartfelt pleas, my so-called friends denied any involvement. Instead, they called me vulgar names that I do not care to repeat. Can you imagine the shock and anguish I felt at their betrayal? Would that I had the strength to force the truth out of those traitors. Would that I had the courage to escape my dungeon cell, even if it meant taking some helpless guard's life. Driven by vengeance and no small amount of self-loathing, I resolved to forge my courage anew. I strode into the lairs of ravenous fiends with while drenched in blood. I put their helpless offspring to the spear that I might face unbridled fury of their kin. For my efforts, I have acquired the ultimate courage, a courage forged amidst danger and tempered by rage. I fear nothing. I am the greatest Lancer that have ever lived. I know, I know a Vayish Guardian who might take offense at that. Avoid the AoE. Go ahead and use your mitigation. Be afraid to use your range attack uh, just to keep something going. And take out the adds. Because you don't want their combined DPS wheeling you down before you can take care of the big guy. And down he goes. Impossible! My courage is absolute! No, come no closer! Okay, yeah, here you can see Tubble gains 400 experience because we are in the because uh, we are in the overworld. And you can always check on your companion, your uh, his his uh, progression by going to the character tab and the companion. 
And here is all the icons you can you can pull into your hotbar to control your friend, mount dismount, withdraw, uh, the Gershaw greens here, um, and then here you can uh, assign skill points when they're available. Eventually, we will get uh, what are called bardings, and this we can this will allow us to change the equipment he's wearing. It will not affect his defense or attack stats; it's just decorative. But let's go back to the Lancers Guild and report back. So, Falk uses no more. His was a tragic tale and one that might have been so different had fate not dealt with them such a cruel hand. He could well have commanded a place of honor within these halls, but, avail but it avails us not to dwell upon what might have been. It is enough that you are still with us, Lightbringer. Lest you wonder about your final trial, well, there will be none. I have seen all I need to see, you have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that yours is a genuine courage. In recognition of this, I shall pass to you the secrets of Lance Charge, one of the most potent abilities in our arsenal. You are a Lancer in your own right now. There is not more I can teach you. From here onwards, it is up to you to seek out such challenges as will make you grow. Like attracts like, and the strong are drawn to strength. Just as I once knew for a certainty that I was destined to face the Lord of the Bramble Patch, so too will you find, or be found by, an adversary of equal worth. None can say what fate will bring, but armed with your courage, there is not you need fear. Keep close to your heart le the lessons you have learned. Go forth to blaze a new trail with spear in hand. Plus 13, plus 10, plus 9, plus 10. Uh, let's do that. And that concludes the Lancer Guild quest line. Um, now, let's equip our new gear. Now we are at the we are at the peak of the Lancer uh, that we can. Uh, we can continue our training uh, by becoming a Dragoon. And to do that, we just need to speak with Ewain, and he will send us to a comrade of his in uh, the outskirts of Ishgard. Um, I forget the name of the zone, but it's just beyond the North Shroud. Um, there you will meet someone... Um, on, you meet someone who will train you in the various aspects of what it is to be a Dragoon, and you will uh, get a job stone that is of the Dragoon. So uh, you can continue on this class if you want. It'll just simply evolve into the Dragoon. If not, uh, you're perfectly free to choose whatever uh, class you wish. Um, just be, uh, be aware that you may have to start at a lower level and then catch up. But you can go through fates you can go through the dungeons we have cleared we you can go through the uh, trials that we have done which to date is only uh ifrit but uh that will do it for this for this episode uh, i'm going to do a shorter episode this time around uh, follow us next time when we continue with the main story quest but anyway anyway have a good day, and we'll see you later.